Ontario Provincial Police have charged a teacher in the death of a 15-year-old student who drowned last year. The teen was on a school field trip with his class. Megan Roberts is here with the details. What do we know about the man charged, Megan? We know his name, Nicholas Mills. We know he's 54 years old and he actually was an outreach coordinator who was responsible for that trip to Algonquin Park for the planning of that trip. This is a photo there of Nicholas Mills. You can see he's charged with criminal negligence causing death. He was, as we mentioned, a teacher at C.W. Jeffries Collegiate Institute in Toronto. He also organized and planned this trip to Algonquin Park. And he was also the supervisor of the group that Jeremiah, Jeremiah Perry, that you're looking at there, was in and was a member of the day that he died. Perry was 15 years old. He was one of 33 students from two different schools that were on that trip. It was a multi-day canoeing and camping trip to a remote area of Algonquin Park. It happened last summer. Students were only three days into the trip when this happened. There were some students that were swimming in Big Trout Lake. Perry slipped under the water and he didn't resurface. He was reported missing and then his body was found the next day. And now today we're learning that a teacher was charged in that incident, Rashmi. And an investigation into the drowning found the school wasn't following many of the rules in place. That's exactly right. We found that Perry was not uh, wearing a life jacket. Also, there are mandatory swim tests that you need to pass in order to go on trips like this in order to, you need to pass them in order to go. Sorry, you're looking here at footage of well, as well of the search effort to find Perry. So we found actually that Perry did not pass a mandatory swim test before the trip. The Toronto District School Board released that information. Half of the students, in fact, that took that mandatory swimming test did not pass and were still allowed to go on the trip with no further swim tests, no further instruction provided. So there was a lot of criticism when that was found out and it sparked some change in the Toronto District School Board. The principal of every school now has to see and review the documentation of any swimming tests that were taken. Parents also have to be given the results. There's a second mandatory swim test that students now have to take on site in conditions that they will actually face on the trip and life jackets must be worn at all times. So certainly there are a lot of questions about safety that's still top of mind, including for Mayor John Tory, who reacted to the news that charges were laid today. Went to the funeral uh, for that boy and I met his family and I stood next to his casket, quite frankly, and it was just one of those things where you said to yourself, that kind of thing shouldn't happen. And it's not up to me to assess or decide on blame uh, for that. Uh, the courts and other places will do that, but I will just say that I think uh, when it comes to whether it's uh, field trips to Algonquin Park or whether it's day-to-day -day traffic circumstances, that we all collectively as a community, including government but not limited to government, school boards and everybody else have an obligation to keep kids safe. After this, we also know the Ontario Ministry of Education said it will review all school board policies relating to safety on outdoor trips as well. Rashmi? Thank you, Megan.